I'm afraid your Justine is going to be a screamer. Well, she might as well learn early. Making all babies cry. Yes. Here you go. must go soon. I expected that. It's funny how you always show up for life's great crises and then just melt away like the Holy Ghost. I'm sorry you're not happier about the baby. Before she was born, I said I hated her. What I wouldn't give if she were yours instead of Luke's. Maggie. Oh, Ralph. Why must the church have all of you? Even that part of you she has no use for. Your manhood. You already know the answer to that, my Maggie. It is a necessary sacrifice. Oh. Necessary. Come off it, Ralph. I'm not a child anymore. And I'm not your Maggie. I never was. All those years that I... that I loved you. And I waited for you and I wanted you. You never wanted me. So I try to forget you with someone else. And he doesn't want me either. You think you're no ordinary man. But there's not a penny's worth of difference between you and Luke O'Neill. You're both just... just great big hairy moths bashing yourselves to pieces over a silly flame. While all the while out there in the cool night, there's food and love and babies to get. Do you see it? Do you want it? No. And so it's back after the flame again until it kills you. God knows how much I've hurt you. Yes, you love me, and God more than me, and yourself most of all, Ralph. Yourself and your ambition. Maggie, this is very hard, I know, I know, but please don't let it make you hard. Always been my rose. The most beautiful human image and thought in the world. An image? A thought? That's all I am to you, isn't it, you romantic dreaming fool? You haven't the least idea what real love is. Oh, go away! I can't bear to look at you anymore. And there's one thing you've forgotten about your precious roses, Ralph. They've got nasty, hooky thorns. Well, you get them next time, Arnie. <laughs> Hello, Luke. Megan, what are you doing here? Must be his. Must be his. What the hell do you mean coming here with the kid? That's right, you've never seen her, have you? Luke, this is just you. All right, Megan, if you've come with another of you, let's settle down our own little nest speeches. Ha! Is that what you think? 
Wasn't it enough you sending a damn Roman priest here after me? What are you talking about? Oh, come on, when I wouldn't take your precious Father Ralph's money. You sent him here to beg for you, didn't you? I haven't seen him since the day Justine was born. It sounds like him, though, like all meddling priests. He'd be only too happy to see me settle down with half a dozen more bloody brats. Yeah, well, that's what you want, isn't it? I was stupid enough to think so. But thanks to you, Luke, I've had plenty of time to get around and to find out what I've been missing. And to realise that the last thing I want is to be stuck out in some dried-up station in Western Queensland with you for the rest of my life. Megan, shut up! And that would be my big reward, wouldn't it? After wasting God knows how many years waiting while you try to prove you're a real man when you're not, and you never will be. So I'm leaving you. Leaving you? I know you're not. Cheer up, Luke. You still got your mate, Arnie. Maybe you'll be more used to him because you're none to me. And if I did want to have more kids, it wouldn't be hard to find a better breeder. Because <laughs> I found out something else lately. You complacent, conceited, self-centered bastard! You can't make love for toffee. Ha! Oh, and about the money you stole from me, Luke. Take it. I'm happy to sacrifice it. On one condition. Don't ever make me set eyes on you again. Not as long as I live. 